Hello and welcome back to Apache Camel tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will be looking at one very important component called Bean. We will try to understand what Bean component is and how to use Bean component and why do you use Bean component. So what we'll do, we will start with some having some like you no know, high level understanding of this component and towards the end we will do a, a you know hands-on workshop where we, where we will try to implement a root and we'll try to see how you can actually make use of bean component and and you know do your your business logic okay so first of all bean component was introduced you know pretty beginning you know um, right at the beginning when apache camel was actually introduced so so you can say it's there from 1.0 and you can just imagine how important and how mature this component is it only supports producer endpoint what it means is if you remember how how apache camel roots are defined you have something called from you have to you can't put bean in from you can't say from bean da 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 it doesn't work like that you can always have to have like you know a different type of component which could be file database you know middleware or uh, rest service whatever after that you can connect to your bean component or bean endpoint that's why we are saying producer part is only supported so what does bean component do and why do you need it on a high level bean components binds beans to camel exchanges okay what it means is camel exchange is the fundamental thing on 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 a route right this is it, it can be seen as a envelope where you have your body you have your headers you have your properties which basically travels on a route right with the with with bean component with bean binding you can actually pass this exchange to your normal pojo your normal java bean method and you can then extract headers properties and the actual body to to do some business logic or to complete your workflow okay so that's the power of uh, bean component how bean component uri is 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 format like any other uh, apache camel component it, it has a standard URI. So you have to start with component called bean. Okay. After that, you have to put a colon and then you have to give your bean name. All right. Once you have given your bean name, then you have some optional parameters or what we are calling it options. Okay. Those options could be, you know, the scope of your bean, you know, how you would like to initialize those beans and a method. A target method which you like to call I'll talk a little bit more about like you know do you really have to specify all these things yes or no and and the answer is not necessarily okay there are a bunch of by default properties which are set such as like you know the scope which is singleton you know how it should be initialized like eagerly lazy various other things also the method name is optional as long as there is no ambiguity in your method names what does that mean in your bean you can't have two methods which are trying to do the same thing you can't have like you know, two methods which are consuming you know let's say um, a, a string parameter or or they are not consuming anything but they have a different name in that case camel will get confused should i be calling method a or should i be calling method b so when you have this type of ambiguity there are ways to resolve it if your bean however only contains one method then there is no problem camel can automatically resolve and call that particular method a method can be created without any parameters or you can have a bunch of parameter including exchange itself okay if you do not specify exchange if you simply say a string what camel will do it will take the exchange it will extract the body from from the exchange and it will automatically set that as a parameter and then it will call your method we'll do that in our workshop okay um there are a couple of configuration options um on on uh, this this particular uh, component on a high level where is yeah 
on on a high level um, component level um, holds general and common configuration that are inherited by by the endpoints as i was trying to say earlier um, for example let's say like you know a component may have a security settings you know some sort of um, credentials for for authentication you can have url network connections and 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 so forth right um, some components only have a few options and others may have many for example okay because components typically have like you no know, pre configured defaults that are commonly used um, then you may often only need to configure a few options on a component or or none at all okay as i was trying to say earlier um, configuring components can be done with the uh, component dsl okay um, it can be done through configuration file which could be like you no know, application properties or or application.yaml or directly with java code itself we'll try to look at like you no know, a few options okay in in our workshop uh, which is coming um, um, in, in in a second basically the the second configuration option we have is the endpoint level okay what it means is on 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 an endpoint itself you know you should be able to specify a few few options few parameters okay we'll try to look at that as well um bean component only supports one header what what it means is you can have as many headers you want but there is a one important header which is used by this component itself and that header name is called camel bean method name okay as you can see you know in in this particular format or you can use this constant called bean underscore method underscore name which exists in bean constants um, dot java file what it simply means is if camel processor okay or root processor when it sees this particular header then it knows automatically that i have to invoke this particular method on a given bean let's take a second to to digest that if you do not want to specify specify uh, a method name in your endpoint what you can do or what your 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 client can do when they are invoking this endpoint they can actually say can you please call this particular method and they can ask this this thing or they can request this thing by setting this particular header in your exchange okay obviously the the method name has to be correct okay you can also specify a bunch of you know um, the the parameters okay which which that method takes if this method uh, if this header is there that take takes precedence over over everything else okay which means if you if you have specified something in your endpoint or configuration here and there that will be kind of overridden that will take take precedence okay you can um, look at apache camel website there are some java binding rules okay which explains you know um, in which sequence um, camel applies you know or, or camel a bean you know binding rules rules get applied or 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 applied or executed all right so i think um, we have a high level understanding what bean component is what's the use of of bean component let's actually try to do um, a, a quick workshop in this workshop what we'll do basically we'll try to implement a, a route using bean component in an endpoint we will also try to look at java dsl okay which is a just a, a syntactic uh, sugar on bean component endpoint okay so we'll begin with the the point number 1 over here in our workshop okay um and then we'll try to call a bean and then we'll we'll, we'll experiment with a, a bunch of things okay so let me just head back to my editor which is over here so what i'm planning to do now is i'm going to create a uh, root from from beginning from from start let's call it camel bean tester root shall we call that okay nice and clear name so i have now specified a class called camel bean tester roots let's let me just increase a uh, font little bit so it's easier to uh, see or or view on like you no know, small screens or however you are watching so i'm going to minimize this section so we have more real estate do let me know in in comments like you know if this dark mode is readable or or should i start using the 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 white one 
Okay. So, first thing, when you define a camel root, what you have to do? You have to create a class, obviously, and then because it's a Spring Boot application, so I'm going to declare this as a component. So it can be registered in, in my Spring Beans. Okay, so let's call it, this is a Spring component. But in my class, what I have to do? In order to declare this as a root, I have to extend root builder. Okay, if you if you remember our previous videos, that's how we have been doing when you are starting from scratch. Obviously, we'll have to implement our configure method. There we are. Okay, so I have nothing at the moment. So what we will do, just for 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 you know this demo purpose and and simplification reasons, I'm going to create a bean class here itself. Okay, so so we can see everything on on one screen. I'm just going to call it my bean. Nice and simple. All right. So I have declared a class called my bean. This is the target or this is the bean which we like to invoke as part of our, our workshop. All right. Obviously, when you start your application, somebody needs to invoke your 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 root. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use uh, an endpoint or oh, sorry, I'm used I'm going to use a component called timer. Okay, so timer will automatically invoke uh, a root. So we don't have to invoke from from outside, you know, using a rest or 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 some you know producer template or whatever. Nice and simple. So let's say from let's say timer. Okay, and timer will go like this. We'll just call it my timer. Okay, and in timer, what you simply want to do is you want to say how often this timer should run and uh, we just put period over here so i'm saying every 10000 um, millisecond ie every 10 second please run and invoke my endpoint okay so what i'm going to do over here in this endpoint i'm simply going to say please log the body okay at info level so we are saying at info level just to uh, static imports to space to save some 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 space okay so dollar body i haven't done anything at this point so if i run this particular um, component or root which i have just started we will not see anything we probably will see that a root has been invoked and it's just printing null for example okay as you can see uh, our root got invoked okay and it will be invoked every 10 seconds but it's printing null at the point at the minute because we are not setting in anything into our body just timer is just ticking okay is calling um, our, our root okay so let's just kill that for now now what we want to do what do we want to do is basically let's first set some body okay in my body I can set my body over here in body i'm going to say um, just set a date actually because it will be easier to to see see you know date so i'm just going to say import class java util is absolutely fine if i re quickly restart my endpoint now it, you will notice that in our body the date has been set okay earlier we were getting null for example and as you can see now it's printing date because that's what i have set in my body perfect all good um, at this point now what we want to do is we want to invoke or we want to try bean component correct so how do you do that typically what you do you say two and then you specify where you would like to target so if you remember what did i say in terms of uri i said we will have to say the component name which is bean so we'll say bean like this and we will say uh, where is where is that yeah bean colon and uh, if i remember what 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 was i saying let's go back to our uh, presentation real quickly so we said bean colon bean name and then the options all right very nice and simple stuff so we have to give a fully qualified name of our bean okay so what will be the fully qualified name so i'm gonna pick up the package name from here Okay, and then we're gonna say my bean. 
at this point i don't have a method name okay so system gonna uh, uh, you know start complaining so first thing what i want to do is i would like to create a method called public string and we will say you know from client let's let's call it from client and what we want to do here is we say this is a message which is coming from a client now let's say i would like to you know process this message and at the moment very simple processing which i'm doing is i'm simply saying take a message and print say okay this is from client okay from client i'm just prefixing this this thing and i'm then i'm just returning what i'm receiving as part of a call to this particular method if you recall what i was saying uh, a minute or two minutes earlier if i invoke this this particular route what will happen do you think it will give error or it will automatically invoke from client if you're thinking it's going to give error answer is no it's it's not going to give us error but then you must be wondering how camel would know that it needs to invoke this particular method as i said earlier if you just have one method or or you have a bunch of method but if there is no ambiguity what camel will do first of all as per of like you know uh, the method binding bean binding um, rules it will look at a method okay there is a method and then what it will do it will automatically extract the body from our exchange okay and and you know you know uh, convert to to string and invoke this particular method okay let's see if if that's true or not so if i run my program now earlier if you remember you know when we were printing we were just printing the date but now hopefully this thing will be printed there you are can you see this thing it's saying from client and the timestamp so what happened here just just let's just uh, take a you know quick pause and just try to understand camel root invoked our bean and then it invoked a method you know extracted the body from the exchange and then this method was was um, uh, called then we had done our business uh, logic whatever we had to do after that camel has automatically reset the body with the new information which is basically returned by this particular method okay as i was saying um, in the in the beginning of the presentation you can actually also receive exchange okay once you have exchange you have you know control over all the headers all the properties and and everything else and then you can also then set message into the exchange yourself or or maybe not modify at all okay various various ways of of doing it now let's say i have two methods one is called from client another one is called from server okay and i'm just changing it do you think this will work now it will not work as we've been you know kind of uh, repeating ourselves that when there is a ambiguity camel simply gonna fail saying look i i don't understand okay if you look at the exception now it's saying ambiguous method invocation okay um, because it's saying look there are two methods which are kind of trying to do the same thing okay from camel's perspective this is one method another method it basically comparing the parameters it doesn't care about the method name reason being because we have not specified the method name so how how can you invoke um, a method so what we will do over here in my component i i can specify method name i can say method equal to this time what we would like to do is we would like to say server because earlier you know this thing was called by let's say client but this time now i would like to enforce myself that please call a method called from server it doesn't matter which one i call but the point here is i have a control now to select a method so this is the second way of of doing it okay if i run it now there should not be a problem you know system should be able to pick up there you are can you see from server oh my god okay so as you can see system is saying from server this is the date let me show you the th the third trick okay if i omit this thing i i am not specifying any bean method name another thing another trick you can do is you can actually i'm just going to duplicate this this method one more time even bigger problem okay 
uh, I'm saying from default basically there is no magic in this word default basically what we will have to do we will have to be little clever there is an annotation called handler handler get used when there is a ambiguity you are not specifying method name you are telling or giving a hint to camel this is the handler you need to use okay so if i rerun my route as you can see we have not specified anything but if i rerun my program at this point what will happen oops yeah there is no failure as you can see now it's saying from default beautiful that's that's what we wanted okay so so far we have seen three four ways of of invoking uh, a bean let's look at one one more um, thing really quickly how can i invoke uh, a method which has multiple parameters okay what does that mean so let's just duplicate this method one more time really quickly okay we are from server with two parameters so if i say this is my body okay just to be absolutely clear this is my body and if i say this is my some sort of header so i'm now printing from server body and then i'm saying this is my header okay really really cool stuff you can do um, over here okay so what what can i do over here is now i can simply say method i'm going to press enter here because my screen is is kind of you know um, going too much to the right so i have to say method from server as you can see now uh, server yeah as you can see we have two parameters so now you can actually pick and choose you can pick and choose what you want to do so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to oh, sorry what happened here yeah so now i can use dollar body so body will be automatically um, persisted over here i think i just have to say like this hopefully it should work and second thing i can do is header actually i don't want to do header what i can prob yeah actually let's do header we can say header dot my header <laughs> so hard to choose names sometimes yeah so but as you can see there is no head uh, header called my header so what we'll have to do we'll simply have to say set header okay and you can say my header and i'm going to simply say i don't know jss nice and easy so if i try to run this program now hopefully it should work if not then we have a little bit of problem okay i think we got lucky so it worked as you can see this time it has invoked the method we wanted so, so it's saying from server as you can see and then it has also printed method so now as you now you can just understand you can invoke whichever method you want doesn't matter how many parameter it has what sort of parameter it has you can you can just do it very nicely all right now so up to now we have been looking at like you know the default um, component bean okay now i'm going to show you java dsl way okay what is java dsl way basically is it's just a syntactic syntactic sugar on on this this particular thing just a syntactic sugar okay let's take a quick pause over here actually before we do that you remember i was showing you there is a there is a important header called um you know uh, bean method name shall we just try that and then we'll come to that uh, that syntactic sugar one so let's just say set header bean underscore method underscore name okay comma and let's say this time i would like to call uh, what would i like to call from client okay i'm enforcing that please call call this one uh, that's it if you just have a quick look camel b this is a constant yeah coming from um, coming from this particular bean constant class uh, from apache camel 
so if you do that actually because it's a supplier so you have to just uh, give a lambda syntax syntax so this way we are now specifying or our client who's invoking this particular endpoint saying yes fine you you, you can specify bean but on that bean please call this this particular method okay even though you can see like no i have set from server over here but let's see if you know this thing get um this thing takes precedence over everything else we have written on the client side if it does it's good if not then yeah okay as you can see as you can see over here okay where is gone yeah even though i had specified uh, you know um, on on this particular endpoint method name that i wanted to invoke from server with these bodies but since the header had a method name it takes precedence over everything okay we have just just proven that all good so far so what was the next thing we wanted to try we wanted to try that that um, you know java dsl way so i'm just going to comment this thing so at this point nothing will happen so how you can write in a java dsl very simple you simply say bean inside bean there are various ways in in which you can you can actually uh, call your your bean okay let's start with very simple way in which you are giving a full qualified bean name as a string so if i call if i just rerun my program should be no regression at all okay as i said it's just a a, a java dsl written on top of the the original one as you can see from client okay it it works now second thing you can do is you can actually you don't have to specify as a string okay to avoid you know refactoring problems etc so you can actually specify the actual java way and i'm just gonna say uh, there you are okay so i'm saying new my bean perfect so i have created object of my bean so this is second way of uh, using java dsl okay as you can see from client it, it just continues to work one more way is you can say my bean dot class the object uh, initialization uh, instantiation etc will be taken care by camel uh, for us okay quickly repeat ourselves to see if it still continues to work okay as you can see from client it's it still continues to work okay now if i get rid of this header and if i say like i would like to invoke method using uh, java dsl how can i do that quite simple what you simply have to do is as we have been doing earlier this bean method takes you know second parameter as well where you can specify what method you would like to invoke there we are okay so hopefully this time this method should be called okay now as you can see earlier we were calling client now we are calling from server okay so things are just continuing to work all right i think that's what i wanted to show but before we finish the video let's just um let me just remind you a couple more things there are few other ways in which you can you can you know access your bean if you have a spring or spring boot application you can register a normal java bean using a component and then you can just specify the name of that that bean okay and then camel will automatically try to access from the spring registry okay you don't have to say new or you don't have to say uh, uh, you know full qualified name or whatever you can just give give the beaning uh, be, uh, bean name but you have to obviously you know inject it uh, in, into your component other way you can do is you know using the camel registry itself you can bind a bean over there and then you can discover over here okay so third thing which i i like to tell you is that there is also way of you know asynchronously invoking methods okay um, and and it's done through com, uh, you know completable feature you can read more about that on on apache camel and i'll probably try to do a workshop on that in 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 coming coming videos uh, but for now um 
I think we will we will finish over here. I hope um, you you enjoyed this particular session and you know like you know how to use beans now in your Apache Camel route. Please um, leave some sort of feedback, comment, questions um, at the bottom. And if you have not subscribed, um, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, and and trust me, I I don't spam. I won't be spamming and and you will be seeing like you no know, quality uh, content on on a on a regular basis you know at least once a month okay um thanks for your um uh, support so far i'll i'll see you in the in the next video bye for now